Guys, welcome to Bag End. We all know who lives here. We all know who lives here. <laughs> there we go. Bilbo and Frodo. Sam lives hey, down the path there. <laughs> now, generally speaking, the higher up the hill a hobbit lives, the wealthier that hobbit is. So before Bilbo went on his adventure to Erebor and came back with lots of gold, he was always very well off. And this is accentuated by the amount of windows which goes right around the house and the unnecessary amount of chimneys. There's like four of them up there. Does the tree look fake from up here? No. Yeah, you don't yeah, reckon? Yeah, no, it does. Yes? Yeah. No? Yeah. Uh, yes? Look at the trunk. Uh, Who's trunk? The trunk. Oh, the, the trunk. tree's trunk. Yeah, <laughs> when it reflects off the light. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, there were some really fantastic scenes shot in Bag End in both trilogies. And two of my favorite are when, one is when Gandalf and Bilbo are sat there smoking their pipes and they're overlooking the party field and Bilbo blows out the ring and Gandalf blows out the ship that goes through the ring. And you know, it's a beautiful sunset, isn't it? Except in New Zealand, the sun does not set over there. Mm -hmm. You've been punked. <laughs> the sun sets over here. As you can see, it's beginning to get into it. So what did Peter Jackson do, I hear you ask? Fake sun. Built a <laughs> he, he did. <laughs> Sent it up in a rocket. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of money went into that. He got Ian McKellen and Ian Holm, the two actors, in at four in the morning, acting in front of a sunrise. You know this fact. You should take my job. And basically, they took, all, they took their footage and they acted, and they took that footage back to the studio and they pressed rewind. So the sunrise became a sunset. Mm. Filmmaking 101. And at a time where films are almost CGI heavy, Peter Jackson was using little camera tricks to create certain things. Now the other scene that I love, maybe you don't, is when Gandalf steps inside and he jingles his head off the chandelier. Mm. And he sets it straight and he turns around and he bangs his head on the ceiling. <laughs> that was not acting. He banged his head. It hurt. But he improvised. Ian McKellen is a gem of an actor. And he went through it and Peter Jackson found it very comedic, very funny, and they kept it in. I love that scene. Now, as you will have all seen with the last Hobbit hole, there's not much in these Hobbit holes. All the Hobbit holes you see here today were shot purely for the exterior. And all the interior shots were shot in Wellington in the studio. And the reason for this was to accommodate the taller actors, the film crew, and the amount of cameras they had in there. So we have an exact replica of Bag End in Wellington. We have a replica of the Green Dragon. And uh, yeah, it's, yeah, we try and fool you to think there's something inside here anyway, but it goes about four meters back and we're back to wood and gravel. <laughs> now there's 158 uh, shooting locations in New Zealand for the Lord of the Rings. Obviously Hobbiton is the most famous, but if you've got a spare few weeks and a good car, I definitely recommend doing a road trip. That's why I initially came to this country before I got here. We're gonna go down the hill and we're gonna do a horseshoe bend and we make our way to the party field. It is very easy for the grip to disperse, for our fellowship to break. Try and stay nice and close, grab a few photos along the way because I have some really good facts about the party field. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yep. Excellent. Yeah. 